Wait yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on Rasa Chatbot. And this time we have a very interesting concept for you, which you would love to connect with your Rasa Chatbot. So what is that concept that we are going to learn today and that's so exciting? So that concept is known as the carousel. So that carousel we will be adding to the existing project of our chatbot in which you already have some existing messages, you already have some existing conversation and now to make it more attractive and to uh, generate more leads. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to make a carousel that will help us to collect the data from the user and to accordingly provide you the information and this information will look very attractive so right so that's all that we will be learning in today's session now let's understand like what exactly we are trying to do and how we will be doing that which is really really exciting so let's get started and let's see how to do that so let's get started all right so in the last video i have already shown you that how you can build your own chatbot that can help you as your helping hand to find the availability of the beds plus the oxygen near to you because in this pandemic the demand of both of them are huge so we require them a lot and we can save a life by finding that bed so that is why i have explained you that thing in my previous video now in today's session i will be expanding the project a more and for that i will be adding the carousel part so that i can make my project more attractive and to make it more compatible with the users so that the user will love to connect with your chatbot and to take a help from your chatbot so that is all that we will be doing and for that you can see this is a project uh, which i have already shared with you so you must have download that and similarly i have a new project now and uh, whatever updates that i have made i have already up uploaded them onto my git repository so it's in the master so you can go in here and you can check the data over here now let me explain you what exactly i have done over here and how i have made it work right so for that let me go back to the project so this is the project where i am right now and in this time what exactly i have done is i have simply asked the user let's say i will be simply starting the conversation from the bot side and in the beginning when i will say hi so what will happen is previously when you have seen that when you said hi or the conversation starts at that time it was asking you that what do you want like uh, are you looking for the vacant beds so based on that you were replying you with the yes or no and at that time we were having the buttons but this time not only having the buttons we will have the carousel instead. So that's the reason we will be making it more attractive and we will see like how we can get the complete information through that. So that is all that we will be doing and in short in the beginning itself you will get the carousel and you can get the complete information from that carousel right. So for that how to add the carousel first of all uh, let me tell you about the story part uh, over here in the rules.yml you can see in the beginning as I am saying when I will say hi or let's say when the great intent will be called you will be calling some action and carousel part comes under the custom action so that's the reason i'm calling a custom action so i will be creating it and i'm adding it inside the domain over here also i'm adding it in the actions as well so that is all that i'm doing and i will explain you what exactly i will be doing over here so rest of the topic or let's say that rest of the complete project is just like the same that you have seen in the previous video so everything is just the same and if you are new to this project and if you don't know what exactly we have done previously you can check my previous video and don't worry about that link of the video i will attach that link with this video you can check it and accordingly uh, refer to that video to understand it better so that's all we will be doing now let's understand the carousel part and let's try adding and understanding like how you can do the carousel part right so in this way you will be creating an action so this is an action this is the action name and i have added them to the rules i have added them to the domain and now i'm inside the actions.py so this is what i'm doing over here first of all what exactly i have to do is that i have to make a json data or let's i have to create a dictionary in which i will be specifying the type and payloads for the carousel because in carousel if you have noticed that there are some buttons as well there are some images as well and that is a complete 
format that how you're going to get the multiple details for that it's like a complete card in which you have a complete information you have a information for the link you can have a information for the message that you want to pass you can have a information for the image you can have some other informations as well that i will show you now right and for that currently we require two keys one is type one is payload in the type we will simply say that yes this is what this is a template which we are trying to attach to our uh, message other than that message what we exactly trying to do is we are trying to add a payload and inside that payload you will be having a complete information or let's say you will be having a complete dictionary inside that dictionary you have two uh, let's say keys one is template type like what is the type of your template and the type of my template is generic so that is what i have added similarly elements now here i will be specifying that what are the different cards which i will be aligning over there right because if you have noticed or if you have already seen the carousel part so there you must have seen that you have multiple cards which you can scroll over here like from left to right or right to left right so that is what uh, uh, we can do over there and for that i am writing my another key which is elements and inside this element what i will be doing is i will be adding a list and what this list is this list is simply the multiple dictionaries inside that right so inside this we have multiple dictionary or let's say this is one dictionary this is containing the complete information about a single card similarly this is second this is third this is fourth so i have added four uh, dictionaries over here to make four different images or let's say four different cards for my carousel so that's what i have done so first let me explain you about a single carousel rest you will be able to understand like yeah what exactly this is and how i must have added that part right so that is what i have done now over here i am having this title i'm having uh, some title for it similarly subtitle so here you will add the subtitle for this like uh, whatever you want to display on the front end part now image url so in the carousel part for each card you have a image so here what i am doing is i am specifying the path of that image and currently i am collecting this image from my local path or local path you can say from my current project directory over here you can see i have created a directory named as static and inside that i have this file or let's say i have this image hospital beds application dot jpg so this is what i'm having similarly i have four other images as well which i have added over here and now with this complete simple image subtitle and title we have two buttons as well one button is like this one which will be for the link like where you can shift to like uh, let's say i have one button so when i will click on that button it will take me to some website so that i can directly go to the website and accordingly i can fetch the information if i want to do it manually so that's my choice right so i'm giving you the option as well but if you don't want to do with respect to the uh, let's say website part if you want my chatbot to help you out so in that case we have second button one button is to link you to the website second button is to link you to my chatbot part so that it will call a payload and this payload is like calling some intent i will be triggering that uh, intent based on that it will be giving you the results so this is how it will be working same thing uh, this is the first card for me right this is the first card over here similarly this is the second card second card is for the second information and in the last video i have shown you that i have few websites and on those websites i have some data that i am collecting i am in collecting some information from there and accordingly i am returning to you back by doing the web scrapping part that's what i have shown so i am using those websites only so that i can show it in a proper and in a more attractive way so that is what i am doing right now and uh, to add or let's say to uh, increase the more data i have added to random uh, let's say carousels as well two random cards as well right so that is why one will be for the innovate yourself one will be for the rasa chatbot so that's all that i have added over here so in this way what you have to do is you simply have to create a dictionary in which you will be adding all the stuff related to the carousel part whatever information is required you are just adding it over here and after that the last step is that how you will be calling it to call it you will be using the dispatcher dot utter underscore message and in here you have one argument or let's say you have one keyword argument where you have to specify the complete data or let's say where you have to pass the data and what is the data that data is 
this dictionary right which i have just created right so in this way i have created one action now what will happen is i am going to link this with my rules over here or let's say in the stories wherever you are adding it currently i'm adding it in rules.yml so that's why when i will say hi or let's say when the greet intent will be triggered you will be getting or let's say you will be calling this action and this action is what this action is coming from here in short it will be calling the cursor so this is how uh, we can get it right so that is all about this and in this way you can simply create a cursor now let's uh, start the server start the rasa server and start the action server so that i can see like how it is going to display to you when you will open it and also in the previous video i have shown you about the socket io part and in here also i'm going to use the socket io part so that i can show it onto my website so that is what i wanted right so that's why i will be showing it onto my website and if you don't know about the socket io script part because there are there is some updations in the socket io script so uh, that's all that i have explained in my previous video so you can check that video and accordingly you can understand how i have made the changes and how, what exactly these things are right so you can check that now it is all about it now the last thing is that i have to start the action server and the rasa server so let me go to the terminal and let's start the rasa server and the action server in the previous video also i have shown you like uh, this is the command to start the rasa server and in the parallel i will be opening my second terminal and in there i will be starting my action server so let me start this also so over here it is starting over here it is starting so when both will be starting we can further go to the website where you have injected the script for your rasa chatbot or let's say for the socket io part and there we can talk to the bot so that's all we will be doing now let it finish and let it start the server first then we will go to it so uh, just wait for it now all right so now you can see the rasa server is up and running and also the action server is running now the next thing is let's start the website let's open the website so currently i have a custom web page where i have injected my script so that i can test it so let me just open it now and let's understand how it is going to show you right all right so you can see you have the website over here and over here you have some messages which i have uh, shown to you so that you can save yourself from the covid 19 so just be home uh, stay home and uh, stay safe so it's uh, about this now let's understand the functionality so for that just click on this web chat icon just click on this and now can you see in the beginning because as per our conversation as per our rules what will happen for the greet it is calling this action and how it is calling this action just because in the index.html i have simply specified that initial payload will be greet so that is how it has called this and now you can see you have the carousel started over here now you can see you have the multiple uh, like cards for this and you can select whichever you want to do like uh, what you want to do right now like first of all this is about mbmc and over here you have the option for finding the hospital bed availability you can find it over here similarly you can find this covid army okay i think i forgot to uh, write the correct topic over here here i just have to add uh, let's say the oxygen cylinder so that's not a problem i can change it over here i can go to action server and accordingly just go in here and uh, go for this and 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 and, and. Uh, where is the button the first one is this one over here you have to add the title as let's say uh, let's say resources resources availability right so this is what exactly i can do so let me start the action server again because this is a part of action server so if i will rerun the action server that will be enough for me right so now let me stop it let me close it and let me reopen it right now when you will open it now it is starting now you can see hospital bed availability now over here 
it is sources availability right now this is the way how i have added all the things i have added the image i have added the buttons and i have added the payloads now this one is the image this one is about the hospital which we are talking about similarly this is about checking up the uh, or let's say uh, going to the website and then checking it manually so this is the first option if i will click on this you will see that it will redirect you to some different website so over here you can see it is uh, redirecting you and over here either you can request for the bed or you can go to the hospital wise bed availability right so this is the first thing similarly for the covid army you can also check this right in this way it will take you over here and if you want to check for the rest of it you can also check for that as well so let's say i will click on this and it will redirect me to my official website of innovate yourself right so uh, it will redirect you to there so you can go there and you can check for the blogs so currently it's all about the blogs but our main motive is for the hospital bed availability so we have to check that now let's close it now okay so this is about this similarly first one is for the website to check it manually but i don't want to check it manually i just want to check it through my chatbot so this is my second option so let me click on that currently i have connected the payload as a form so based on that a form it is going to ask you like uh, what are you looking for icu vacant beds or non icu vacant beds so whichever option you will select you will get a response for that and the response will be almost the same that you have seen in a previous video right so it's the same thing now uh, it is checking like sure let me check and now it is checking for all the hospitals and it will give you the top five results for the non vacant result or let's say what i've selected i have selected for icu vacant beds so it is going to give you the icu vacant beds right so this is how you can get it clear so this is all about it similarly you can select the option either you want to check it again or you want to uh, don't want to do anything right if i will say no then it will simply uh, call the different message and that is like thanks for the visit wear mask wash your hands regularly and keep three meter distance from each other stay home stay safe so it's all about the project and also in this way you have seen that how you can add the carousel to your project right now don't you think it looks really really attractive right so in the same way you can add this to your business model by showing the different products to the user if in case you want to do the conversation with the user right so that's all that we can do right so i hope everything is clear to you now and if you still have any doubts in the problems or let's say in the topic that i have taught you feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also uh, if you have any feedback for us feel free to leave a comment as well and also if you have liked the video do click on the like button and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel so that is it from my side stay home stay safe and happy learning